Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Shantae Marie here. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you guys go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I am a lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube and I strive to help the world one YouTube video at a time. Hopefully this helps out somebody in some way, shape, or form on this platform. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. So this is gonna be a series here on my channel because I am currently in the process of getting ready to retake my ASVAB and I just wanna share as much of that information as I can with you guys. So, my first tip for scoring high on the ASVAB is going to be to make sure to study. And to study, I have a couple of books that I think would be beneficial to you. So the number one book that I use on a regular basis is actually this As ASVAB flashcard book. And it comes with a CD. I haven't used the CD. I actually don't know where mine's at. But basically, this book has like the questions. And then on the back page, it actually has the answers and not only does it give you the answers but it legitimately tells you how to come to that solution so if it's a math problem it's not only going to give you the answer but it will show you the work that you have to do to get to the answer to that problem which i really like this book is decently sized so i can take it with me wherever and they do make a version of this that the flashcards actually come out like the the pages are perforated 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 whatever you know what I'm trying to say and you can take the flashcards with you but this is super simple to take and like when you're on your lunch break or whatever you're doing throughout the day you can just study at any time the other book is going to be the ASVAB for Dummies book. Now, I honestly have only done a couple of pages out of this because to me, it's just, it's so much writing. Like, it, it's just too much. But I have friends that told me that they used this book to study prior to taking the ASVAB and they told me that they went through it like two or three times cover to cover and that when they took their ASVAB, they actually scored almost perfect on it because the questions that are in this book supposedly are the same as the questions that are on the ASVAB and there's a lot of times that you'll be told oh the questions that are in this are on the ASVAB test and that may be true but it doesn't mean all of those questions are going to be in there it just means that if you've seen them before and answered them and been able to answer them correctly then you probably will have a a better chance of answering it correctly on the test. The next thing that I wanted to give you guys was just some websites that I have learned about recently that can help you to study for the ASVAB test. So the first one is actually petersonsdodlibrary.com and I will have all of these listed in the bottom bar for you guys so if you need to just click on them you can but this website is a DOD website. I have not been to it yet so I just learned about this within the past couple of days, so I'm not sure if you have to have a military ID to be able to use it. I'm gonna assume that if it says DOD, you probably do, but that should be able to help you study. Since it is a DOD website, there are multiple tests that you can study for. I know it has the ASVAB, it has the AFQT, AF. OQT and then there's two other courses that it has as well. The next website that I wanted to talk to you about is the OASC and this stands for Online Academic Skills Course. Uh, this is also a website that I recently learned about from the Education Services Center at Fort Riley and these are just websites that you can go to and basically get any help that you need. And the final one is going to be extramath.com. Now, I struggle really, really bad in the math portions. Like, I do fine in the reading and everything, but the math portions, I just really suck. So, I need to study math as much as possible, and it's crazy how if you don't use things, you tend to lose them. And one of the things that I really struggle with is just being able to really get my math facts down so like five times five obviously that's freaking easy I don't even know why I just use that as an example but I just have issues like six plus eight you want to be able to just really think on the ball with math like that 
It's going to help you get through the test quicker. And for me, a struggle was actually being able to finish all of the questions. So extramath.org I have actually used already and basically it's going to flash different math equations at you and you literally have to just type them in as fast as you can to get through it and it times you and basically helps you to just kind of like muscle memory through basic math. I've done it with addition, subtraction, and multiplication at this point. So the next tip that I have for you is to ask for practical math questions or practical reading, like reading a paragraph and then having to answer questions about information that was listed in that paragraph. So if you're getting ready to take the ASV and you're still in high school, you actually have an advantage because you can go back to your teachers or previous educators that you've met and ask them for things like that. You could literally go back and ask your teachers and I'm sure that they would be more than willing to give you maybe old homework or just websites or anything that might be able to help you or you could also look here on YouTube. So one of the things that I've been struggling with is long division and it's just because I have to go back and remember just little things here and there that I'll just be like, oh yeah, I totally forgot to do that. So I YouTubed long division and watched a few videos that show me how to do it and it really helped. Now you're probably asking, why does this girl keep saying like she just found these websites and you are watching long division, like why? So I'm actually getting ready to retake my ASVAB test. I believe the test that I'll be taking is actually called the AFQT. That's what it's called when you retake it. But I contacted the education services center. So seriously, most active duty posts are going to have some sort of education services center that can help you. And I called them as well as talked to some of my peers in the National Guard about retaking it because I mean people do that so that they can get different MOS's or go to OCS or do whatever and I have OCS plans in the works further down the line so it was only right for me to retest on my ASVAB. I didn't score a 110 on my GT line score and that is the score that you at least need it to be a 110. Now you don't have to. Mine currently is not a 110 but it's best if you do because then you know that you don't have any issues really getting any job or doing any schools that you want. So I'm retaking that through the education center at an active duty post and basically it is a one month class where you go to the post, take the class and they reteach you the things that you don't know. Now before you can do this, you have to take a test called the TABE and once you take the test, the TABE test, that can stay on your account in the army anyways for six years, six months? Up to six months, I believe. I Don't quote me on that, I know it's six months. So you take this tape test and it's essentially a pretest to just tell them where you're at in the different categories of the ASVAB. So I actually scored a perfect score on like the language and writing sections, but I scored fifth grade, like fifth grade math level on the math. So the class that I'm enrolled in is actually called the Fundam Fundamentals of Math and it's a BCEP class. So they're going to teach me the fundamentals of math, but they're also giving me some vocabulary information that is really necessary for the ASVAB. And as soon as I'm provided that information, I will share it with you guys. So that is why I'm doing this series because I know that I'm gonna get a lot of information that I really think can help you guys because I did not study before I took my ASVAB. It was on a whim. I just went to MEPS and took it. So I have a master's degree. I have been out of high school since 2009. So going back and remembering these little tiny math problems when in a master's program, you're just writing and reading all the time, I really did not remember anything so it's very helpful and <clears throat> and that is information that I really just want to share with you guys so that is going to conclude this video stay tuned for the next video on how to help boost your ASVAB score or help you retake it or help you 
to achieve your goals in your military career. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new and you haven't subscribed already, make sure you go ahead and do that. And be sure to check out my playlists on my channel because I have a whole section devoted to military videos like this. So thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.